After a huge episode taking down South Carolina and then upsetting at the time number two Alabama, we are now getting ready to go on the road to BYU as the number two team in the nation at 7-0 at BYU number 17 and then at home against Auburn. Checking in on the stats for the SEC leaders heading into this matchup against BYU, KJ is currently fourth in the SEC in passing yardage, but is nowhere near the top of the leaderboard currently in passing touchdowns this year, but does lead the SEC with the most interceptions an area that we have to fix if we want to actually be a championship contender. One area we are excelling in is our defense. We have Drew Sanders and Bumper Pool, both number one and number two in solo tackles in the entire college football landscape. And kicking into our first game on the episode, we're taking on BYU. We will need that gritty defense and KJ's best performance to take down BYU and the Cougars on the road. So here we are from BYU. This is going to be a huge matchup for our Razorbacks coming off a massive upset win of Alabama. Will we have a hangover from that win or will we be able to keep it rolling here against a high quality BYU team here on the road? So our opening possession is a third and eight here. We're looking to find somebody in the end zone if we can. We're going to find something, but we get an incomplete pass. KJ Oper two. We got to settle for a field goal. So here we go, BYU looking to respond. We need our defense to come up with a huge stop. We're going to bring pressure up front with Nichols, and it's across the middle to Rex, the tight end. It's caught for a 12-yard completion and conversion. BYU 3-for-3 three three on third down conversions. Another one right here, third and nine. Passing, and it's incomplete, and they missed the field goal. So we're still up by three. After that missed field goal, here we have tremendous field position. We're going to go read option with the zone option right there for KJ. And he's going to break it down inside the 10, down at the three. An 18-yard run to end the quarter. Second and goal. They brought pressure on first down. We have a slant read right there to Hazelwood. Jaden Hazelwood will give the Razorbacks the multi-possession lead here to start quarter two. And unfortunately, they get on the scoreboard an 18-yard pass to Hill. It's now a one-score game. Third and goal. We're just going to hand this thing off to Rocket Sanders. He makes his way into the end zone and will put the Razorbacks back up by 10 here in the second quarter. BYU trying to respond before the half. First and 10 here for the Cougars. And they're going to go play action, read and write. And he's got time to throw in the pocket. He finds his man Rex back in the end zone. Another touchdown. And they're right back in this thing here in this first half. So we haven't looked our best passing today. We're going to go hurry up offense. We're going to try to get something going with KJ's legs. And we got a blocker. He's got the pile on and a touchdown. If we can't throw it well, well, we for dang sure can get it in the end zone on the ground. Two incompletions leads to a third and ten here for the Hogs. And we're looking downfield. I don't see anything I really like. We're going to hit Landers instead. He jukes, jives, and weaves and gets 14 for a Razorback conversion, keeping the drive alive here late in the third. Third and seven now here, right near the end of the quarter, and we bring in pressure, and Pilly gets us, takes us down for a sack. We have to settle for another Cameron Little field goal. Here we go, third down and four for BYU. They need this conversion. They need something to come alive here, and they got a pass that's caught by Romney. And Romney will take it down for a huge gain down to the 23. So this is it. Fourth and nine. They have to convert here to keep any sort of hopes alive to beat us on their home field here. And they got time in the pocket. He finds Romney. He breaks through, gets a catch down at the seven. I've said it and I'll say it again. Our defense will take us as far as we want to go. If they're good, we're good. And so far today, they've been fantastic. Right here, they bubble out to Brooks. He shrugs off one, two, and gets down not in the end zone it's a fourth and short so this is it fourth down and goal they're gonna go pass and caught by rex another one and it makes it now a nine point game I stand corrected it makes it a 10 point game because they are going for two to make it a one score deficit now here against us this is a huge play if we get a stop here we can pretty much seal the deal no but it's caught an eight point game and there's still plenty of time. So BYU out of timeouts. We got the ball back. It's fourth and two. If we convert, it's over. And we're going to look. We're going to take off. KJ, get it done. Stay in balance. He fumbles. No. He puts the ball on the deck. I was trying to get down. I should have slid. 
So the biggest play of the game for this defense now is stop here with Seal the deal and give us the victory. And they're going to look, and he's got a deep ball. He's laying it out, and it's almost picked but incomplete. Brenny drops it, and we will now be able to run out the clock and survive here on the road against number 17 BYU. So it's a big win. We hang on in a tough environment to get a dub, and we get it done. Miles Slusher, player of the game, nine tackles, one for a loss, a forced fumble, and a pick. Again, the defense made the big plays when needed. We move on with another win. Let's get ready for our matchup against Auburn. And ladies and gentlemen, with that win, we now move to the number one seed in the country. Your Razorbacks are on top of the college football landscape as we get ready now to go back home and take on a tough Auburn team. And not only are we the number one team in college football, but we also have Rocket Sanders into the Heisman picture, the sophomore stud halfback. He's had an incredible year this year. Let's see if we can keep him progressing up that ladder for the Heisman Trophy. And ladies and gentlemen, we just got our first huge recruit committed to the Razorbacks for the next season, Tyler Wiggins, the number three quarterback. He's a balanced QB, 6'4", 201, four-star commit, has chosen to come to the University of Arkansas over Nebraska, Notre Dame, A&M, and Mizzou. The other huge commit we're keeping an eye on that is hopefully going to sign with us sooner rather than later is William Carter, the 6'5". 210 number one free safety if we can grab him this will help this defense continue to progress and move forward and be a powerhouse staple in the sec for years to come so here we are from fayetteville it's a little bit chilly but we're in their nice alternate uniforms to take on the tri the tigers of auburn and hopefully shut them down and get another big win keeping the top seed in the country Third and one here. We're going to look in the backfield to see if Rocket can get open here. And he's led. He gets in the end zone. His first catch and touchdown on the day puts the Hogs on top. So third and four for the Hogs here in the first quarter. We're looking to get something going outside. It's a run for Rocket. He's shy by a yard. What do we do with this decision? We're going to go to the good old triple option here on this play and see if we can get something with KJ. But he swallowed it up. They sniff it out. And it's a turnover on downs. So here we go, we're trying to get after Calzada, the former quarterback for the Aggies. They're going screen pass here, and there's nowhere to go. He's dropped. It's a sack on the play by Malik Chavis. Third and 10, though, and we're going to try to get something here. We're looking back. We're going. We're going to run. We're going to take off with KJ. He's got a lot of space in front. He's just going to get out of play. That's a roughing right there, I think. So a third and nine for the Hogs. We're looking to keep this possession alive and keep things going strong. And we're going to take... What is that pass? What happened there? Something looked a little wonky there with that, if you ask me. Yeah, he went way underneath. That was strange. Second and one here. 26 seconds still remain in this half. And we have a wide open man. Middle of the field there is John, uh, Jackson Jr. Beautiful catch and a first down. So nothing going. We've got to settle for the three. And it's going to go off the foot here of Little. He'll put it up through middle and good. 10 to 2 at the half. We're going to put the ball in the hands of the Heisman hopeful on a fourth down, and he's going to get it and then some into the end zone from seven yards out. Rocket Sanders, second of the day, and we make it now a 17 to two lead. It's a huge play here out of the pistol. Third and two. They're going to go with a run to Austin, and he gets nothing. Fourth and four. You got to think they got to get some points. Do they go field goal? First and 10 for the Hogs. Here we go. We're looking. Oh my gosh, I got a wide open man. Touchdown if we get it to him. Stay in bounds. No, his left foot. And it's been a busy episode today for Cameron Little. A deep field goal again. This one is middle. It's hooking. It's through, though. Woo. Second and goal. We're going to go read option here. And KJ will pull. And he gets into the end zone from four yards out. It is all hogs here at home against the Tigers here in the fourth quarter. Third down and goal. Motion coming with Ingham across your screen. See what we got here. And they go screen pass. It is caught, but short of the end zone. Fourth down and goal. So here we go. Fourth and goal for the Tigers. This is it. They want to get something on the scoreboard. This is the opportunity to do such. Fourth and goal pressure. And he is dropped. Calvada sacked. And the Razorbacks will take over. So a massive win for the Razorbacks. Again, a team I was expecting us to beat, but I thought, honestly, it'd be more competitive. Drew Sanders, player of the game. And this offense and defense combination today would just looked outstanding in both games against BYU, against the Auburn Tigers, the number one team in the nation. These Racerbacks have all the weapons to be 
potentially college football national champions in our first season, something I didn't expect, to be honest with you. So we conclude the episode 9 and 0. Oh. Next episode, we'll take on Ole Miss on the road, and then we'll take into Mississippi State. So both Missouri school or Mississippi schools in the next episode were the number one team in all of college football, outlasting some really solid teams. Miami behind us, and then you got Louisiana 8-0. Oh, what? Oh, and then you see the rest of the rankings there as we go through. It's going to be competitive. It's going to be a battle. But so far, so good for our Razorbacks. Rocket Sanders moves up the list by two. He's now third in the Heisman race. Ladies and gents, the Hogs are trending upwards. Can we keep this season going? And can we keep our national championship hopes alive? We'll find out in the next one.